Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This video is about the new lightweight power pod from Sorecraft. What's different about the parts? What components are used? And how it flies. All included as a supplement in the power pod option. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And check out our website for this model and others, as well as printing configurations for different materials. These new files are part of the PowerPod option and are included with the recent PowerPod update. Just like the original PowerPod, this lightweight PowerPod can be built with any of the fuselage designs. This supplement is also included with the Igneous, and I will be doing a separate video about the new Igneous updates, but a lightweight version builds the same as this. The main reason for the supplement is the original power system is way overpowered. And quite heavy for an airframe printed out of lightweight materials. So I picked out a set of components that better match this lighter airframe. Still has good power without too much current, and are about half the weight of the originals. Because the prop mounting distance is so different and to optimize balance weight, I decided to design a lightweight specific power nose. In the power pod option, the files are in the supplement file folder. There are instructions and two parts to print. They replace the PP1 and PP2 part from the original PowerPod design. And the most noticeable difference is the length, shorter by 20 millimeters. A PP3 door latch and the PowerPod wing saddle are still needed, along with the rest of the airframe, but they all can be printed from the foaming lightweight materials. In this video, I'm building the rough gen model with the new two servo MH32 wing and the power pod. The MH32 two servo wing is a good mix of lightweight and performance. And I will have a build video for this new wing too. Now for slicing and printing. I added a 3MF file to the slicing config files. It should open in bamboo or orca slicer with the test part. It will also have the filament and process settings for an XC1 or P1S. And you can use this to transfer the settings to the printer of your choice. For foaming materials, I use nearest for fins and wings and back for fuselage parts. You can load all of the parts into this project and get them ready to print. Oops, forgot to set the seam to back for fuse parts. There, that's better. Slice and print all of the parts and print them separately for best results with the foaming materials. Once you have all the parts printed, test fit and follow the instructions for assembly. You can even mount the motor and test the balance before gluing. With the fuse finished, tail glued, elevator, servo, and motor installed, can add the rest of the components and the wing for final balancing and programming. It's just about ready to go fly. With a ready to fly weight of 441 grams, which is almost half the weight of the original build. <music> The 2204-1400 kV size motor is a good neck size down from the 2212. The Surpass brand is available in many places, but any similar motor will work. The 31 to 34 millimeter mount, soldered on connectors, and a prop adapter is a plus. Then it's figuring out the prop and ESC to match. The best static thrust for this system will come from a 7x4 two-bladed prop, which can be mounted directly, or add a spinner like this 38mm. 
I prefer folding props and I found this one. And yes, it's on the Hobby King website. A super kinetic folding prop replacement. Remove the shaft collet, but keep the spacer and the prop goes right on. It's a 7.6 prop, so a bit higher pitch, but seems to work well and has good venting. However, it does come from Hobby King, so it is not necessarily in stock all the time. The replacement prop for the wing netic is identical and still in stock. Either prop will work, and hopefully Hobby King will get more. Hubs and props are also available from APC, and they have a variety of pitch and diameters to choose from. I found this one on eBay that will fit your motor setup. Let me know in the comments below if you have a good source for folding props. I'm using the ZTW 15 amp ESC. It can do braking for a folding prop and only weighs 12 grams. I did have to change the motor and battery connectors to match the other components. And this is the 3S LiPo battery I'm using with the XT30 connector. Using a strip of Velcro to hold it in place during flight. And this is a higher capacity battery to try for later. All right, everything is programmed, charged, and ready to go. Final check of everything. And away it goes. Great climb rate. Flight times will vary, but my neck starts to hurt from looking straight up for more than 10 minutes, and I need to land. Test landing approach. Seems like about 20 to 25 degree flaps is the right amount for this MH32 two servo wing. I like how this power pod turned out, and I like how this plane flies. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.